This video will show you how to add buttons to the home screens on your iPad and iPhone in order to create shortcuts to your favorite wiki pages. First, navigate to the wiki page. I'm here on the fourth grade assignment calendar page. Now I'm using iOS 7. If you haven't upgraded and are still using iOS 6, you can still do this, but it will look slightly different. At the top of the screen, you'll see an arrow um, on iOS 7, it looks like this. On iOS 6, it's a little curved arrow. You're going to tap on that, and you get some choices here. Find the choice that says Add to Home Screen. That's the one we're going to tap on. And you get a new little um, pop-up window with the URL right here, which is the address of the wiki page. And then here is the title of the page. Well, I can change that title. That's too long. So I'll just tap on this little X here. And then I like real short titles. So I'm just going to say fourth wiki. And then I'll tap up here where it says add. That puts the icon right on my home screen. Now when I tap on it, it opens right back to that page. Now we can further organize our icons. So let's say I have two children on C-Track and I want them to quickly access their selective class wikis. On this screen, I have already um, saved buttons for my eighth grade student. So he's taking art, Spanish, history, and computers. And I want to organize those all into one group. So if I tap and hold on one of the icons, they all begin to shake. I can drag that over on top of the other one and it will create a group for me. Now the default title for this group is bookmarks, but that's not what I want, so I'm going to change that. These classes are for my son Jake, so I'm going to name it Jake and then tap done and then tap on my home screen. And you can see that now I have two of those little icons in a group. I'm gonna go ahead and drag his history class in there, his computer class, and then I'll tap the home button at the bottom of my iPad to stop the shaking. Now, all of my uh, Jake's classes, selective classes are all in one group. And when I tap on that group, it opens up and I can pick quickly any of the classes that I need to select. So there you go, how to uh, create some shortcuts for your iPad and iPhone.